Hi there, so we're going to take things one step further using MIDI Transform in this video. I'm going to look at how I can use it to chop up, rearrange a drum loop and then maybe a vocal loop afterwards. So what we've got in this project here, I've got a stripped down kick drum and snare loop. And I've got this drum loop here. So we like some of the drum sounds contained within this loop here. It might be quite interesting to load it into the sampler, chop it up and rearrange it a little bit. MIDI Transform is a really cool way of providing some inspiration if you wanted to approach editing drums in this way. So I'm going to start off by right clicking on this drum region here, this audio region, and I'm going to select convert to new sampler track here. And that will convert this audio region into a sampler track. I have a couple of options here, create zones from regions or transient markers. I want transient markers so it'll an analyze the transients of those drum hits and create a different sampler zone for each one. Create one shot zones. We want this, this ticked for drum sounds really. It might be a bit different if we were sampling some chords with some more sustain on. But one shot zones is ideal for drums. I'm going to hit OK now. It automatically mutes this audio region and it's loaded up onto a sampler track down here and let's have a look in this piano roll so we have the drums mapped out one note per drum sound which would be great if we wanted to now very quickly we have it on our across our keyboard mapped out across our keyboard chromatically and we could You know, maybe record something in, chop it up, rearrange it. But MIDI transforms quite a cool way of approaching chopping up drum loops in this way. So I've got these these notes here, and they're starting from C minus two, and we're going up to B minus one. So now let's go to our functions drop down menu, go to MIDI transform, and go to random pitch. And this will randomize the pitch. We set the random value here, and it will randomize the pitch. So if I set the van value starting at C minus two and this is the first note in our sampler range is C minus two and it goes up to B minus one there that was the last note in our loop there B minus one and with that range set I can now go select and operate close this up and you can see what's happened here it's randomized all those notes and chopped it up And it's quite an interesting way of chopping up loops. So I'm going to go back to this randomized pitch. And you can keep operating until you get what something that you really like. What I'm going to do here as well is I'm going to use the EQ, roll off the low end, and treat it a bit like a hi-hat and percussion loop. And I'm going to bring back this stripped down kick and drum, kick and snare loop, bring this back into the loop. give things some perspective and then we can just keep going through MIDI transform, randomized pitch. And just keep operating until you get something that you like. And it's a very quick, cool way for chopping up and rearranging loops. Also works brilliantly with vocals. So let's bring a vocal in here. And I just dragged this vocal from a sample CD, sample library. And again, we like some elements of that loop, but we maybe want to make it our own a little bit, put our own sort of stamp on it. Let's go right click, convert to new sampler track, transient markers. No, let's not go create one shot zones this time because it's vocal. So hit OK and it mutes that region automatically. You can just mute it there. Mute that track there. And let's have a look at this. Okay. 
Okay, so this could be quite interesting. So let's just tidy up that region there. So let's take a, make a note now. We start at C minus two again, and we go up to F sharp minus one. So let's go back to our functions, MIDI transform, random pitch, starting at C minus two, but we go up to F sharp minus one, select an operate. So we're just And you can hear it's chopped it up there, quite interesting way. Let's play everything back together. And you can just go through, MIDI transform, random pitch. Interesting. Quantize some of these notes up. Bring this back in. And within a couple of minutes, we've taken some drum loops, chopped them up, used the MIDI transform randomize pitch feature to just make them our own and make them quite choppy and almost resampled. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Any questions you've got, give us a shout. And thanks for watching.